Welcome to the wilderness. We are at Camp Lucerne out at uh, Flaming Gorge Campground. On the border of Utah and Wyoming. I wanted to showcase that you can still have amazing gourmet food while still camping. It doesn't always have to be hot dogs and hamburgers. But also still be manly. <laughs> Come along with us and see what we make. But first, we need to get the fire going. Otherwise, there's no food. <laughs> Let's get to it. Starting the fire, we got our Kindle that we actually took from a Walmart that we stopped at along the way. That's what I call planning. Now we get a little, the little sticks. That's what gets the fire going, guys. Don't quote me, I'm not an expert on this. I'd love to show you a video of me starting a fire, banging some rocks together, twisting the the twig. I'm not that manly of a man. Okay. <laughs> manly man. Of course, we got the meat. Flank steak. We're gonna go ahead and unroll this bad boy. There you go. And what we are going to do with this, very simple. Oil, salt, pepper, onto the fire. Do not skimp on the salt and pepper here. We do have a nice fire going. Started by yours truly. I'm gonna lay another piece of wood over, make sure it's going. I'm gonna pull this grate over, and that piece of meat, that fine piece of meat, that manly man meat, is gonna go right on that grate. So I've got manly man working on the meat over here, but you've got clamping grill for the rest of the weekend. I wanted to explore gourmet options for camping, and that's what I just brought you, mac and cheese. It may be cold, but all you gotta do is warm it up. The big thing behind gourmet cooking while you're camping is prep work. All I did was basically make mac and cheese and put it into a tin foil tin. Just in a tin, ready for camping. All you do, set it on the fire, it's ready to go. Next, I did salad. Also, prep work. Instead of bringing all those ingredients, it's having to cut everything right here. It's already done. Fresh broccoli salad, grapes, pecans, cranberries, a mayonnaise dressing, so good, so easy. You let the you let the dressing marinate with the broccoli, softens everything up. Put it in a container, put it in your cooler, good to go. Easy as that, guys. So we're gonna let Corey take over the grill for a minute with his meat, and I'm going to warm up my mac and cheese, and we're gonna have dinner here in no time. Time to put the meat on the grate. Boom, we got our flank on there. Looks like it's browning as you can see on the edges. So we're gonna go ahead and flip it. Oh, look at that. It's a beaut. I don't want my meat too well done. So we're gonna take it off. Let it rest in the cast iron. Back to glamping, girl. Thanks, manly man. So we're getting back to this mac and cheese here. We're literally gonna take this whole thing and just put it on the grate. Let it warm up. Let some heat get to it. Just like that, let it go. All right guys, I've been stirring up the mac and cheese a little bit. Time to check on it, I think it's ready. Yeah, you hear that sizzle? That's the cheese. Oh my gosh. Super simple, super cheesy. Guys, look at this. Little pink. Oof. Dinner is served. I want you to take a look at this. We've got our nice rare, medium rare meat here, flank steak. We've got our broccoli salad, because we're trying to be a little healthy around here, although that does have bacon in it. Um, we've got our mac and cheese full of cheddar and mozzarella, and we barely had to do anything here. This is glamping and manly man at its finest, and I can literally not wait to dig in here. Let me try some of this. I mean mac and cheese, come on, how can you get that wrong? Oh man, that was really good. <laughs> really good, and now I'm super sleepy. After the long day of driving, a big heavy meal like that, I'm ready to go to bed. I really liked the meat. It had that like char on the outside that you can only get from like a, from a fire. 
or from like a grill even. I think my favorite was actually the salad. Manly man. Whoa. Going uh, the salad Going route. Going veg style. But we're not done yet. What's dinner without dessert? What? And today we have decided to go the route of banana boat. Get two bananas, marshmallows, chocolate chips, peanut butter, Reese's, pecans. So you can kind of, you know, do up your own banana boat how you like. You cut the banana, you open the banana up, cut again. This time you're just cutting the banana itself open. Miss Alex, what would you like as your filling of choosing? I'm gonna go with marshmallows, Reese's, and pecans. Spread them out, spread them about. Take the pecans, sprinkle those in there. Last, but of course not least, mini marshmallows. Okay, fill them in there, banana boat style. You know, don't be afraid to mush them in there. We're gonna take our aluminum foil and it's just gonna get wrapped right in the aluminum. Wrap it up nice and tight. Now I, I'm gonna go with some chocolate chips. Gotta use marshmallows. Next to the coals they go. Let's go. We're gonna open them up and see what we got. Whoa. Look at that, guys. Look at that. All right, guys, I got my chocolate. I got my peanut butter. Cheers. Bam. No! <laughs> Round two. Banana down. Bam. Mmm. Mmm. Mine's so chocolatey. That's so good. <laughs> <laughs> this is a great, quick dessert. Mm hmm No matter who you are, we just want to showcase that you can, you know, camp just by throwing some meat on the grill. Or going a little gourmet and doing a little mac and cheese. Wherever you're at this summer, we hope you enjoy your outdoors and camping and whatever else you're doing. Make sure if you did like this video to like and subscribe to our channel. Mm -hmm. And until next time, we'll see you next episode. See ya.